The Western Pacific Fishery Management Council, the State of Hawaii, and the National Marine Fisheries Service are jointly managing the bottom fish resources of the State of Hawaii, um, both in federal and state waters. This action will uh, protect seven species of deep water bottom fish. Uh, we're here today to show you how to quickly identify the seven species of bottom fish. Six of them are snappers and one is a grouper. Of the six snappers, two are red, three are brown, and one is barred. The grouper comprises the last one and it is the only one that is black. The six snappers make up most of the deep seven species that you're going to be identifying today. The identifying characteristics include a deeply forked tail fin, a top fin that is mostly continuous or has a shallow notch. It also has a moderate to large mouth that is right in the front of the face. Looking at the first of the deep seven species, we'll be looking at the snapper called Onaga. It is a brilliant red snapper that grows to about 30 pounds in weight. Size restrictions on sale is less than one pound is illegal for sale. The things to look for in looking at this snapper is a long filamentous tail that is deeply forked. The tips of the tails are sometimes red or black, but generally not white. The eyes are nice, brilliant red. There is one similar species to the Onaga, and it is called the Ehu, but that one has white tips on the lower lobe of the tail fin. The second of the deep seven species, it is also a red one. The local name of this fish is Ehu. It's commonly caught with the Onagas in the same depth ranges. The general size that you will probably be seeing in your catch is probably from less than a pound to about five pounds in size. You'll notice that the fish is not as brilliant red as the Onaga, but it's more of an orangey red. The tail fins are not as long and filamentous. It's shorter, but it is still forked and the bottom lobe of the tail fin, as well as the pelvic fin, is tipped in white. So that is something to look for. It also has uh, pretty big teeth. You should be able to see the teeth easily. The third species of snapper that we're gonna go over is a brown. This is Opakapaka. Its common name is pink snapper, and the scientific name is Pristopomoides filamentosus. The size restriction for sale is less than one pound is illegal. They grow up to about 20 pounds in size, and the most common sizes you'll probably be seeing is uh, from about a pound to about five or six pounds. Opakapaka is characterized by having the iris of the eye being more yellow than orange. The side fins, or the pectoral fins, is more yellowish or brownish in color. The mouth is generally underslung and it's on the bottom of the face, rather than being right up in the very front. And if you drew a line through the top of the top jaw, through the middle of the tail, the eye would land above that line. The second species of brown fish that you'll be looking at is the Kali Kali. The common name is Von Siebold Snapper, and the scientific name is Pristopomoides Siboldii. There are no restrictions on the sale. Generally, this is a smaller species of fish, and you'll see it from under a pound to about three or four pounds in weight. It's a species that is very similar to Opakapaka. The ways to tell them apart from an Opakapaka is the pectoral fins are more orangey than yellow, as is their eyes. Their eyes are also more orangey than yellow. The Opakapaka eyes are yellow. And when you're drawing a line from the top of the upper jaw through the middle of the tail fin, you see that the line travels right through the eye, whereas in the Opakapaka, the line travels below the eye. Another characteristic to look for is the demarcation of color between the top of the upper jaw to the eye. The Kali Kali has a very sharp demarcation of brown and silver, or the color and the colorless areas, whereas the Opakapaka will have a fading in and out effect from the dark top part to the light bottom part. The third and final species of brown fish that you'll be looking at today is the lehi. The common name is iron or silver jaw snapper, and the scientific name is Ephareus rutilens. There's no size restrictions on sale, and it grows up to about 20 pounds in size, but generally what you'll be seeing is anywhere from 5 pounds to maybe 10 or 12 pounds. It is also caught while fishing for opakapaka. The way to tell a lehi apart from the other ones is, through its common name, iron or silver jaw snapper, just look at the thick, robust bottom jaw. It's thicker than the rest of the snappers and it's very silvery looking. 
And if you're really in doubt, you pull back the gill cover and you'll see that the outside of the gills is silver in color. That's the only fish here from the deep water that you'll be seeing that has a silver layer of gills like that. The tail is very similar to the onaga with it being deeply forked and filamentous towards the ends. But there is no long filaments and the eye and the body color is not the nice brilliant red of the onaga. The last of the snappers is one that we call barred. It's not one of the two reds, three browns. This is a barred snapper and the local name is Gindai, and the scientific name is Pristopomoides zonatus. It's a very distinctive looking fish with four yellow bars across the back. The tail fin is also very distinctive where the top is an orangey color and the bottom lobe of the tail is a yellow color. It's a very distinctive fish. I don't think you'll get it mixed up with much else. The last family of fish where we're going to be looking at is the sea bass or grouper. It's actually a grouper, but in Hawaii, most people call this a sea bass. It's the only one that's going to look black or very dark color. The Hawaiian name is Hapupu, and the scientific name is Epinephalus cornus. The size goes up to about 70 pounds or so, but the mostly what you'll be seeing in the catch is probably from about a pound to five or 10 pounds in the main Hawaiian islands. There's no restriction on the size for sale. Groupers are generally characterized by having very large mouths and robust fins, and they have a truncated tail, which means it's not forked, but more like a fan shape or straight up and down. So if you see a blackfish with a flat tail that looks like a spatula, it's probably going to be a hapapu. The hapapu, when it's small, has a lot of different kinds of colors on it. It can be white spotted, or it can be bluish white spotted, and it can have lots of spots or very few. Generally, as they get larger and larger, the spots fade away into a sort of a grayish black color. I hope this uh, new color scheme of two reds, three browns, one black, and one barred will make it easier for you to identify the fish when you're out there fishing. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always call up or you know, visit our website. Mahalo.